Today I'm going to teach you guys some hunter tips and tricks in Varlamore and how you can make use of some of these new items that have come out. First thing I want to talk about is these hunter spears. Cool thing about these guys is they are a ranged weapon, but they actually work exactly the same as a teasing stick. So you no longer need to carry a teasing stick when doing pitfall traps when you're training your hunter. You can just wield these bad boys. And not only are they a teasing stick, they don't get consumed when you tease the creature. So I'm always going to have 200 as long as I'm hunting with them and not throwing them. In addition to that, they actually give you a 5% buff on successfully teasing the creature that you're hunting. So there's no reason not to use these. Uh, they can be crafted using hunter spear tips, which you get from the loot from completing rumors at the Hunter's Guild, one Jerboa tail, and I believe teak logs. That's how you make the hunter spears. Now this rumor that I have been tasked with here is to get sunlight antelopes and try to get one of their hooves. As you can see here, the Quetzal whistle will tell you and remind you what you are targeting and what you need to bring back. The sunlight antelopes are located in Varlamore, as you can see here. Most of you are going to get here by either using the teleport to get right near this Quetzal uh, area north of the bazaar. After you do that, you just run south to the hunter area to get to the sunlight antelopes. Alternatively, you could put a Quetzal transport right here uh, using the Quetzal feed, which you can get from you know, completing rumors and opening the loot sacks that make it a little bit faster. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy to get here. And in order to kill these efficiently, in my opinion, uh, the best way to do this is to bring with you, obviously, a knife to make the pitfall traps. You're going to want to bring a chisel for the antlers that these guys drop so you can turn them into bolts, which you can either just stack up or sell. Either way, you won't have to bank as much or drop them. You can just stack them up in your inventory. You're going to want a dragon axe to cut down the trees around here. You could bring candor and headgear if you want, get two logs per tree, but it doesn't make that big of a difference to me, so I don't do that. Uh, you don't need the thread or the needle. I've just been doing a lot of rumors, and it's just nice to carry that around. Um, but you do need these items if you want to make the meat pouches, which I'm going to talk about now. So you're also going to want this meat pouch. That way, whenever you get a kill, you can deposit the meat into the meat pouch, which really is the only thing you should be going to the bank for, is to empty that thing, uh, and then come back and do it again. The, the meat sells for quite a bit, and it's pretty good food just all around for most things in the game. Now, I'm going to go over an example kill here. Uh, I know this is pretty self-explanatory, but for those who haven't done this in a while, you just make your trap, and you go and tease something. Your hunter spear does all the work. You get that 5% buff. You jump over, and hopefully I don't mess it up. I totally did. We're going to run back around town, jump over again. And that should be it. Should fall into the trap and you collect your loot. So I'm going to dismantle, get my loot. I also bring a bone crusher necklace because it does drop bones. So you iron men out there, if you want to just, you know, bone crush those big bones, by all means bring that. But I do it just because I don't like dropping or burying them myself. It saves me some time. Now the fur, if you'd like to keep it, you can. You do need the fur to craft the large meat pouch. First you're going to need to go get a fox fur and make a small meat pouch. And then you're going to want to use the sunlight antelope fur on the small pouch to upgrade it to the large meat pouch. But yeah, I just drop the fur, deposit the meat, and I do it again. You're also going to want to use your chisels on the antlers to create the bolts. Now creating the bolts, you're not going to make as much money, but it is stackable. If you were to sell the antlers right now, they're about 2.7k each in the GE, but you're going to be banking a lot more. The other amazing thing about these antelopes is they drop sunfire splinters, which currently are selling for 868 GP each. So you can stack up quite a bit of money just by hunting these guys. And you can stay here pretty much as long as you need to. Never have to bank unless you want to empty your meat pouch. And if this helped you guys, please leave a like and subscribe. And happy hunting.